Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Charlton for the game versus Hull. Uh, this is a big game for us. Uh, third versus fifth. If we go, if we win this, we're late. We go with win one point of them, I think. Uh, the team lineup is as follows: we got uh, staying back four and Hamer in goal. Jackson is back from injury, so he's playing centre mid with Gardner. Ephraim on the right, left on the left. Haynes keeps his spot up front, and I have Kermigren up there, uh, just just to keep the places because I don't I think he's doing better. I have him and Fuller still waiting for Bradley to come back, but hopefully we can do well. We're away though, which is quite um hard to we'll play against Hull away. Um, they got El Mahamadi, Matty Fry up front, uh, Paul McShane at the back, Ben Amos in goal. He was man new keeper at one point, I think. But let's just get into this. We're considered the underdogs. Just relax them and then motivate them, as usual. Seems like the most e like surefire way of getting all greens. Just relax them when they're underdogs and then give them a like a praise or you have faith. And then they'll get all motivated. So hopefully we can get a good result against them here. But it doesn't... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if we can score early on, hopefully. Maybe Haynes. That's what we're going to be using Haynes for, I guess. Just the pace up front. Kermit Grant, the target man. And Ephraim is injured. And Haynes is looking tired already, which isn't the best. Let's bring Green on for Ephraim. Okay. 30 minutes in nearly. Still no highlights, as usual. Matty Fryat's booked. God. We've had three yellows for their team so far, so hopefully they get sent off in the second half. Wouldn't 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 say no to that. So are we gonna go half half full half without oh no. Their highlight. Obviously. Wiggins. Jesus Christ, Hamer. <laughs> Kermigrant, go on. Counter now. Go on, Haynes. Break through the hole. Go on. Oh, he's gone out too wide now. Cross it back in. Oh, <laughs> oh. And El Hamadi scores an own goal and we're 1-0 up in 41 minutes. Ah, oh, that was great. That was, so that's why we have Haynes in there. Puts the cross in and Lappin's coming back post, but it just comes off El Hamadi and goes into his own net. That's good. Oh, are we going to get another one here? Hopefully. Jackson to Lappin. He's going to play to Kermigrant Gardner to Ephraim. So it's hit painting through and he scored. And it is 2-0. Haynes scores again. He's do, he's well on form today, or not on t today. <laughs> he's on form. He's past past few weeks. Goes straight past the keeper and he's in. And that's half time. <laughs> there was no highlights, and then fortieth minute it all starts. Okay, passionate. Very pleased to keep it going. So yeah, Ephraim's really good, but I want to keep him on. But he's injured. Which is a problem. So I'm going to sub him off around 60 minutes probably. Put green on for him. Looks like they could score here. Nah, oh, Wiggins gets that though. Our, our back four is actually quite reliable to be fair. Okay. Oh, we've got highlights now. Go on, Haynes, win that. Oh, no. Oh, this could be a goal for them. Because McLean's through and he's... Oh. And he skied it. I thought Ben Hamer tipped that over to be fair. Okay, moving up towards 60th minute now. Okay, Brighton a 4 0 up. Jeez. Oh, oh, we got a highlight. Wiggins puts out a lap in, puts into Kermagrant, puts to Jackson, who's Haynes, and he scores again. That's Haynes' second goal. That's four goals in two matches now for him. It's ridiculous. Okay, now I need to make the sub. Go on, pause, there we go. Bring on... <laughs> bring on Wilson then, because Green's not on the bench. There we go. Haynes has just been doing... Like, he's been re really on form these past few weeks, because Fulham and Kermigrant weren't scoring. But... We're 3-0 up. Which is... Quite surprising. 75 minutes in, no highlights. Let's make a sub just for the sake of it. Let's bring on Kakar. 
because he doesn't get many games. And let's bring in... Who can play left back? Royce Wiggins. He can, okay. Let's bring in Jordan Cook up front for... Um, no. Let's bring on... Yeah, let's bring on Cook. Oh, undo. Yeah, let's bring on Fuller, actually. Two advanced forwards up front. See how that goes. Give him a chance. Score in 15 minutes. Hopefully Den Denny Haynes can get his third, to be fair. Would like him to get a hat-trick. 5-1. Brian, jeez. Oh, we've got a highlight here. Probably for them, though. Oh, no, it might be for us. Fuller puts Haynes through. Come on. Oof, when it's saved. But Solly's going to not get that. Gardner. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, good. Those sort of fouls you normally get reds for. So, But here we go. One minute of injury time. And this is going to be it. 3-0 <laughs> away. That's ridiculous. That's a r oh, my God. Haynes with man of the match right there. He's been doing really well. And we move up to fourth over Nottingham Forest and one point behind Hull. Two points behind Derby. So this is doing really well. Look at the shots though. We only had three shots on target and we scored all three. Brighton won 5 1 in the end. Who are down the bottom? Peterborough, Leeds, and Ipswich are down the bottom. It's quite surprising. So, okay, that's pretty good, to be fair. There we go, superior finishing. So, for the next game, we do have Huddersfield. Uh, they came up with us. <laughs> to be, yeah, they, they came up with us from League One. And let's have a look at their squad. They seem to be doing really well this season. They brought, like, got in a lot of good players. They got Hammond and Vaughan on loan. Adam Clayton, Anthony Gerrard. Alex Smithy's in goal, uh, Danny Ward, 